Let's simplify this expression. Negative 3 fifths plus 15 over 8. We are adding fractions, so we must have the same denominator. What is the least common denominator here? For 5 and 8, that least common denominator is 40. 40 is the smallest number that's a multiple of 5 and a multiple of 8. So let's take a moment and let's write each fraction as an equivalent fraction but with a denominator of 40. So 5 times what number gives a product of 40? 5 times 8 is 40, and if I multiply the denominator by 8, I must multiply the numerator by 8. Remember, that's the same as multiplying by 1, so I haven't changed the value. Plus, then I have 15 over 8. Again, look in the denominator. 8 times what gives a product of 40? Well, 8 times 5 gives a product of 40, so multiply by 5 in the numerator. That's the same as multiplying by 1. Now let's see what we have. We have negative 3 times 8 is 24 over 40, plus 15 times 5 is 75 over 40. What have we accomplished? The denominators are now the same. So that is now equal to negative 24 plus 75 all over that common denominator of 40. We are adding numbers with unlike signs, so we actually subtract these absolute values. 75 minus 24 is 51. We keep the sign of the number with a larger absolute value. That's 75, which is positive. So in the numerator, we have positive 51 over 40. And this is simplified. 51 and 40 have no common factors other than 1 or negative 1. So here is my sum in simplest form.